Mr. Furman. Um, I have a question on the continued Marvel Universe. Hopefully it will be general enough that maybe you can uh, deal with it. Uh, I was wondering, in, by the time we get to 100, are you going to set things up so that they perhaps reference or foreshadow what's, what was happening in the G2 comic book? No. That you went and created? No? no, issue 100 will be a conclusion. Okay. You know, IDW, Hasbro, and what we want to do as well, we're all of a mind that issue 100 is the most definitive conclusion of that that universe, that saga of Transformers. So, no, it won't feed into or set up anything. Okay, so not the, the G2 that was already written? No, I'm not going to ignore G2. You know, G2 okay. is going to sort of possibly fold organically into the extension of G1. So, okay. You know, yep, that's all. That's basically what I was asking. Thank yep. you. Hello, Mr. Furman. Hi there. I'm just interested in uh, your general writing process. Is there anything that you do, like as a ritual, to get yourself going? Um, what would you say are some of your greatest strengths as a writer and weaknesses? Has there been any time where you've suffered terrible writer's block? Just any stories from that end of things? Uh, I don't. Uh, I mean, you know, touch. Some hope that this is wood, but I don't generally suffer from any kind of writer's block. I'm quite good with just opening up a blank document on my computer and starting. You know, even if what I write down is utter rubbish, at least it kind of will set me thinking in one direction or another. You know, my, my advice to writers is always, you know, write it, and then kind of worry about whether it's any good. You know, get it out there, and then you can at least have something on the page to, to play around with, or discard, or use elements of. So generally, I, you know, I, I don't have a huge problem with just starting, you know, and, and I guess by now I, I just kind of, I know almost in my head all the sort of the elements I need to put into play to, to write a story, and, you know, so much of that revolves around character. You know, I think that the most, the most important thing of any story is that your characters are interesting and they tug at some, if there's some kind of emotional resonance in their story that, you know, you can get something out of as a reader. So. You know, I always, always boil down my stories to character. It was interesting when I was doing the spotlights for IDW. That was a real exercise, a little bit in, in identifying a character element and expanding that into a story that you wanted to read over 22 pages and yet was, you know, contained but also linked to other things. So, you know, I always start with character. 